Greetings, everyone. I'm Carol Patterson, current president of the League of Women Voters, Solano County. Efforts to ban what some people consider to be controversial books from school rooms, school libraries, and even public libraries have become more and more common in many states across our country in the past few years. Many of us in the League find this to be troubling. While we have not been directly faced with this kind of effort in Solano County, we're of rare that it could happen here. In early April, our League will host an online discussion series via Zoom. The inspiration for these sessions will be provided by the podcasts in the Velshi Band Book Club, created by Ali Velshi from MSNBC. In this introductory podcast, five Solano County residents share their thoughts on the importance of the freedom to read and on the threat to that freedom that is very real in book banning efforts. Let's hear these voices. When we limit the freedom to read, it limits or stunts the learning and development of young people. I think that it's really important that teens get exposure. It's very important that they get a chance to choose, especially because um, their worldviews are being are are forming at such a young age. I remember as as a kid, uh, I was thrilled to read about uh, things that were outside my own world. Uh, it was uh, it was an exciting thing. I think that books are essential tools for understanding complex issues. If you don't quite understand a particular topic or a particular um, issue, the more you read and the more you read a wide range of points of view and perspectives, the more clarity you have in understanding these issues. Um, I think banning books is, uh, it limits the growth of ideas and perspectives, and it's the antithesis of a good education and a well-rounded experience. There's just, there's so many voices um, that don't always get a chance to be heard. We don't know everybody, especially in our small communities. Mm -hmm. So how do we get a chance to hear these stories? How do we get a chance to know what it's like um, from different perspectives? And the answer is we get a chance to read reading a variety of, of, of things, a variety of authors, a variety of stories, a variety of topics, uh, gives you the opportunity to see the world uh, from something, as I said, beyond your own limited perspective. And uh, it really does open up a, a world of, uh, of excitement and ideas. It's not just good for its own sake, it's also um, energizing. This is a painful part of my personal history. Um, African-Americans, and it's no secret, that we were enslaved in this country. And there were a myriad of laws to keep us that way. So historically, it has lit a fire under me to become educated, to educate my children and my grandchildren and all those who sit in a classroom with me. Uh, reading is not only fundamental, it was a wonderful slogan back in the day, but reading is humanity. I think there are people we stand on the shoulders of, of these people who were brave and courageous and literally gave, gave their life for us to have freedom. Seeing the freedom to read um, is as essential to sustaining democracy as anything else that we can do. It's kind of the pillar of democracy to be able to read and to be able to be well informed. I believe that a child cannot be what a child cannot see. I believe, and that's another, one, another reason why I went into education. So it is very important that children or young people see themselves in a position of power, authority, of being able to choose for themselves their lot in life. And reading has a whole lot to do with that. Most of those books are books that are representing subjects that are persons of color, Black, LGBT, all these communities that have fought hard to be represented, there's now an effort to exclude them. So it's almost like that veil, that threat of eroding that representation now exists. One, one of the things that, uh, that does separate us as, as individuals is, is economic circumstances. Public libraries are free and open to all. And, uh, and, and you, can, you can access whatever it is you want to access in, in the world of information and the world of entertainment. You've got public libraries, use them, support them, 
fund them and 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 uh, keep them at, at the forefront. The League of Women Voters Solano County is concerned about book banning. It could happen here. For more information about our upcoming discussion series and to register as a participant, go to our website at lwv.org forward slash California forward slash Solano dash County. Thanks for listening. We hope you'll consider joining us for these important discussions.